Welcome everyone, this is uh, an update on a video that I made in 2014 as I've improved the way that I explain things. So it's one of the few times that I'll actually draw circles and I'll say I've got 25 pizzas to share between 10 people. So I'll, I'll give this to the students and I'll say can I, can I give one um, pizza to each person? Yes I can. So the students will draw the numbers in each circle. And I'll say, have I got enough to give them another pizza each? And they'll say, yes, I have. So off I go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So at this stage, uh, person one has two pizzas. Person two has two pizzas. Person three has two, three, two pizzas and so on. And then I'll say, have I got enough to give them another pizza each? And they'll say, no. And I'll say, well, what are we going to do? And what they'll do is they'll break each one in half. And then we'll number them like this and I'll say okay so how much pizza does each person get so person one has one two and a half pizzas person two has one two and a half pizzas person three two and a half so when I divide or share 25 pizzas between 10 people they each get two and a half pizzas but how does that help me with the decimal so what is I, I redraw these last five pizzas. And let's see if this fits. One, two, three, four, five. And what I'll say is, okay, so this is, you know, uh, a vegetarian, margarita, chicken supreme, meat lovers, and a Hawaiian pizza. And everybody's got to get a piece of each piece of pizza. So person one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So they've all got a piece from there. One through to ten, one through to ten, one through to ten, and one through to ten there as well. Then we have a discussion on. How many pieces of pizza does that person, person one get, person two get, and so on? And what size is this piece, these pieces of pizza? So you can see that person one gets one, two, three, four, five pieces of pizza, and they are of size a tenth, so one tenth. Five pieces of size one tenth. And I write that like that. So actually, person so each person gets two and five tenths of a pizza two and a half pieces of pizza i then show that on my slider here so this is how i do it on my slider and i'll say okay there's 25 pieces uh sorry um people the pe 25 pizzas to share between 10 so i've got to divide by 10 so all i do is i slide one value of place one value the place value gets, moves one spot and that's a dividing by 10 so you can put on here divide by 10 and multiply by 10 if you like um, and that way the decimal point never moves I just slide the value of the place of the digits some I've made other ones with um, the, them already typed on there and teachers will often say to me which ones better Christine because I've updated it with these pictures so that the students can immediately recognize what's hundreds tens ones and so on um, and I just say whatever the students are comfortable with some some like the cleanliness cleanliness the of, of this particular slider um, but it doesn't matter so if I had for instance I'm just going to scooch this over here I'm not just I'm not going to fit that let's see if I can fit that in here so if I had one, two, three, four, if I had 10 groups of 25 or 25 times 10, right? This is what I'm, so you could count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and so on. Or I can do 25, 10 times. Can you see them as soon as you start to talk? So the, now I've got, let's just look at the, let's look at the 20s. I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 
All right, and now I'll count the five. So I've got 200. I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So that gives me a total of 250. So here, when I've got 25 and I multiply it by 10, I make it 10 times bigger. That's how I show that that's what's happening. That is 10 times bigger. I can do 250 divided by 100 and I can say, well, divided by 100 is going to be two slides in place value, one, two. All right, so you can see that I can multiply and divide by any number of powers of 10 using a slider. I've also made a much bigger one based on an A3 sheet of paper. You can see that here. So you can see again, I've got my slider and it goes either way, but it's much, much bigger. So I, help, I hope that that helps you explain how multiplying and dividing by 10 works. It's not a simple one, one explanation and all students will understand it, but using the slider in combination with the visuals will help you um, nail that language for mathematics. Hope it helps. See you soon and thank you for watching.